Hey, I'm Skylar, and welcome to Tech Edge. The concept of networked computing resources, which is ultimately what cloud computing is, have been around since the 1960s. But the phrase cloud computing didn't become a common term until 2006, when then Google CEO Eric Schmidt used the phrase at an industry conference. Since then, the discussion about where computing resources can and should live has been ongoing. We're here to help you better understand what cloud computing is, how it relates to edge computing, and what you should consider when choosing where to put computing power. Let's put our heads in the clouds for a few minutes. In essence, cloud computing lets you utilize IT resources on demand over the internet. Rather than purchasing, provisioning, and maintaining on-site hardware or data centers, cloud computing lets an individual or organization access remote computing resources whenever they're needed. Cloud computing is frequently used to serve applications to users, provide remote storage, or offer additional on-demand processing power to supplement on-site systems. As an example, one of our clients, Genia, offers cloud-based software and services for the commercial real estate industry, including property managers and business owners. Their users are able to manage buildings remotely through a combination of on-site on-logic edge devices and cloud computing resources. For example, users can monitor when doors are inadvertently left open or how the heating and cooling systems are functioning even when the property manager is away from the building. For businesses that need their computing resources to be flexible, scalable, and on demand whenever and wherever they're needed, cloud computing is an attractive option. But that begs the question, is it best to invest in local IT systems and management or move your entire infrastructure to the cloud? Ultimately, the decision doesn't have to and shouldn't be one or the other. Which brings us to edge computing, where computing resources live on site and close to the data source, often feeding the refined data to the cloud. Cloud computing and edge computing were made for each other. Cloud computing allows companies to move faster on projects without vast upfront costs. It also allows users to rapidly scale their services by activating additional computing resources through their cloud service provider. However, when combined with edge computing, you get the best of both worlds. Computing completed on-site at the edge can make quick decisions and minimize bandwidth usage while providing the flexibility of remote management and on-demand services. So what does that mean for you? Should you be focused on edge computing or cloud computing? Ultimately, it comes down to what you need to accomplish and which locations you need to access your information or applications from. Think about how you distribute the experts within your organization. You want to make sure that you have adequate resources to get questions answered quickly and address any issues that arise on site. The same care should be taken when considering where to place your computing power. You'll likely find that your unique needs may be best served by a combination of edge and cloud resources. Hopefully this video helped clear some of the fog when it comes to cloud computing, but if you still have questions, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate if you give it a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Tech Edge.